And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me and your host, Jonathan. Once again, me and you, my thoughts and movie review for the brand new Baz Luhrmann film, Elvis, starring Austin Butler and, of course, Tom Hanks. Now, Elvis does tell the story of Elvis Presley, who, and everybody who knows music, regardless if you what genre you like, everybody at least one time in their life has heard of an Elvis song, whether you're a fan or not. You at least know his music. For me personally, I never really grew up, you know, listening to Elvis music unless I was watching Full House when Uncle Jesse was listening to Elvis music. So that was the only time I was ever, you know, acknowledged his line of work. You know, everybody has heard about Elvis and his music. But in this movie, we get the kind of the backstory of how he became who he was and what he did for not only rock and roll music, but just music in general. And, and, when you meet Elvis Presley for the first time, and first of all, I gotta give it up to Austin Butler because I think the guy did a phenomenal job as as Elvis Presley. He, like, he embodied who Elvis was from you know when he was young, when he got older, a little bit heavier, you know, because you do see that throughout the film, and you know you just see him just transform, and it was just in astonishing and amazing for what he did, and I. I applaud this kid for what he did with this with this role. Big shoes to throw, no doubt about that. But this movie is more just about Elvis as, as, as yeah, it's an Elvis film, but there's more about this than just him. It's more about um, Tom Hanks' character who plays the Colonel. Now the Colonel is apparently this guy who pretty much took Elvis under his wing and pretty much made him who he was. And then you throughout the film you see what first of all, Tom Hanks, like we all know Tom Hanks is the man. Okay, the guy is incredible. The guy could pretty much act in every any kind of category you give him in, in a in a role. He did a phenomenal job as well, and I think the two of them need to get the Oscar nominations for supporting and lead actor because Tom Hanks in this film makes you want to hate his character so much. Now, I did not know who this person that Tom Hanks was playing before I went to see the film, but as I was watching it and, and, and seeing what this guy was doing to Elvis' his career, yes, he helps him. You see all that, but then you see some chinks in the armor of that going to, you know, you know downhill from there. And, and they captured it so beautifully, and I thought it, it was... Just um, and just crazy how how Elvis went from one spot to his career all the way to another spot that may not be where he wanted until before his passing. Um, we even got to see like how he he his um the way he did his moves, his dancing, the way how he interpreted his rock and roll music to for what when he listened to you know gospel jazz, you know African American jazz and gospel music and how that inspired him to become who he was. I thought all that stuff was fun, was fascinating to me because I did not know so much about Elvis. I've only seen things about Elvis, but you know, oh, thank you, thank you very much, baby. You know, all that good stuff, and all the hot, you know, all the, um, you know, personages in, you know, Vegas, you know, how he became who he was because of this, this and that. I thought, like I said, I didn't grow up listening to Elvis, I'm a little young, younger than that, but still, Knowing the fact that Elvis went through what he did in this film, it's like, wow, you really appreciate what he did. Not only what he did for music, but just him as a person. It's like, wow, you understood what he wanted to do. He wanted a certain goal for his life. And, you know, when you had Tom Hanks' character help him out, and, you know, you see the, the, the bond between the two of them that, that really just captured what, you know, what they were going for. And then seeing that bond maybe dwindle away because of certain things. I don't want to spoil it, but still, there were some certain things that happened in this film that's like, huh. You know, you take a look at Tom Hanks' character, like, you look at him in one way and throughout the film, and then once the shift happens, it's like, oh, maybe we should look at him another way. It's very interesting. Anyway, like I said, I thought they did a phenomenal job. I, and Tom Hanks in this film was just incredible. He, I, I, I would assume, I don't know if he put on pounds, 
but he had or wear a fat suit but that his transformation in this film was just as incredible as austin's performance as well the music was great the the the, the singing you know was awesome you know man like i said i really not knew so much about elvis up until this point now that i've seen the film i know a little bit more it might be my one of my favorite um biopic films you know for for musician mine is still number one for me bohemian rhapsody i thought they really captured that film well but i think second right now has to be this film because just just learning about who Elvis was as a as a musician, as a person, you know, when he you know and it's not much of a spoiler because we all know he falls in love anyway to Priscilla, which we all love. But um, you know, you see that in here too and you see how that works. I do wish you know, there are some things here I, I do wish they would have improved. Um I do wish we would have gotten a little bit more Priscilla in here, in my opinion. I, I like the actress who played her, she did a really good job. I kinda wanted more of that dynamic between her and Elvis. I kind of felt that they kind of just like, like, okay, yeah, we're going to focus on Tom Hanks and Elvis's characters and how, who they were as people. And then Priscilla was just there. But yet we there's some stuff with Priscilla that I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know that we should have gotten. But, you know, I wish it would have flushed out a little bit. And also, a little bit too long. But that, you know what, it does drag just a little bit. I, you know, they could have shaved off maybe like maybe 10 minutes of this film. And it still would have been a perfect film. But like like I said, just those two little minor things, excuse me, you know, for me with my, like, negatives, you want to call them negatives. But, um, yeah, I really wish we would have got more of her. And also the fact that, you know, they could have you know, maybe shaved off a little bit of it. Because it did, it did feel like it was a little bit too long, especially to the point where you know where it's supposed to end. So I was like, okay. But, yeah, they kept dragging it on. But yet, yeah, I still call it. It's one of probably one of my favorite films right now of this year, up until you know. So, but we still got the long rest of the year to go along and see what's coming up. But right now, this might be my number one film right now because honestly, this film is just amazing, and I liked every moment of it. You know, so um, and if you're an Elvis fan, I think you're gonna appreciate this film. You know, for what it was. If you just go in there just to hear his music, you you probably be satisfied. If you just do, if you're intrigued about who he was as a person and how the rock and roll music scene, you know, pretty much changed with his influences, you're gonna be you're gonna be happy. But if you're just going there just just to hear him just sing all day, all night, you might get a little disappointed because there are there's some backstory here. Now, like I said, the backstory was great, but I still don't know, you know, what was actually real, what they just kind of made up. But I'm not going to be worrying about that until maybe the Blu-ray comes out and then they can officially announce what was what, you know. But still, I thought everybody did a phenomenal job. Austin Butler did a phenomenal job as Elvis. I thought he did, he captured him really well. Once again, Tom Hanks proves that, yeah, he was great. You know, Tom Hanks is just great. Like, whatever he does is like, he could be in a Pepsi commercial, Coca-Cola commercial, and... It'll get like so many views. It's not even funny. He's just the way he moves, the way he talks is just awesome. So you know, I appreciate for both of them what they did, and their chemistry together on screen was just awesome. So I like that because if you if you have two actors who are you know pulling all cylinders and they don't have chemistry on screen with each other, then you got a you got a messed up film. But but their the chemistry to, to the both of them on screen together because they were both on screen with each other a lot. And phenomenal job. So, yeah. So, I highly recommend go checking out Elvis if you can. Because I think it's a fun film. And it might be one. I might be in my list of top biopic, um, musician biopic movies. Now, I've seen the Beatles. And I should be good. Big Rolling Stones. But we'll see what happens. So, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about Elvis. And what's your favorite Elvis song? Are you guys big Elvis fans? Not Elvis fans? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Thank you very much. And have a good day.